right this week we're here with Jake Guts, uh, sophomore heavyweight, winner of no wrestling, fresh off a win over Liberty. Jake, uh, you're a second year wrestler. Yes, sir. Tell me how it's been so far adjusting to a, to a new sport relatively. Yeah, it's been pretty good. Uh, I have a good coaching staff, which helps a lot. I have a lot of people coming in to help me a lot, so it really helps me improve. Now you're coming from football, right? Yes. Like football. What's tougher, a football practice or a wrestling practice? Definitely wrestling practice <laughs> because you move your body in different ways than you would in football. I'm more used to moving in football, so it's a lot more different. What, when, when you the last year, last year was your first year wrestling against, right? That's when right. you hit that first wrestling practice, was, was it a bit of a shock to say, "Holy moly!" I was, haven't used these muscles in a long time. Yeah, it was, it was pretty shocking, but <laughs> I knew it would make me a better wrestler. So yeah, you got through it, right? Yep. Is it hard going from football right into wrestling? Is it hard to kind of you know change minds, change aspects of new sports? It, it is, but. At least I'm going into wrestling in better shape than I would if I didn't do football. Right. So that's good. What's the biggest hurdle right now as far as you guys stay in the focus? Obviously, you're undefeated, ranked high in the state, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we just got to keep working hard. Just keep working because we, I mean, we really just got to keep working or else. We just got to keep everybody healthy. And yeah. Keep everybody healthy and just keep working. I got to imagine that, uh, you know, being the bullseye of mm -hmm. state champs, being state champs last year, yeah. everybody's coming at, coming at you with mm -hmm. your eight games. So I guess in, in yeah. that regard, you have to watch out for everybody, yeah. right? You just got to take one match at a time. Right, right. All right, man. Um, if your family's heading out to dinner and you get to pick the place to go, where are you guys going? Where's the best place to go eat in your mind? Best place to go eat in my mind? Out, eat out. Yeah. Probably be a Texas Roadhouse or something, steakhouse. I, t I assume you were a steak guy, yeah. right? Yeah. All right. Uh, now, you, can, you, can you put down a big piece of steak? What's the deal? Uh, you got to be a pretty I, good eater. Like I, I can eat a lot. <laughs> I, last year, I was 180, uh -huh. and now I'm about 240. Okay. So I've put on 60 pounds. And you've enjoyed it, right? Yeah, I've, been, I've enjoyed it. Eat some food. Yeah. Well, you put on some pound football, of course, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. One, one junk food you have to have, even though it's, it, it's not good for you, but you, you find yourself eating a lot. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably ice cream. <laughs> I usually start with one bowl, but then I just have to keep eating it. <laughs> <laughs> you put away a few bowls of ice yeah, cream? Yeah. All right. All right, last thing, I'll let you go. Uh, before a big match, uh, you put your headphones in or whatever to get ready. Yeah. What, what music do you listen to to kind of pump you up for a big match? Uh, believe it or not, I actually, if I were to listen, I'd actually listen to country music. Okay. That's You're a big country kind of music. fan? Yep. Okay, but who's your favorite artist? I have a lot of them, but... If you had to pick one to get you ready for a match, what would you pick? Uh, if I had to get ready, Little Wayne, but because I usually sure. listen to like, rock and country, uh -huh. but probably Little Wayne. Okay. All right, man. Hey, I appreciate it, Jake. Right. Thanks very much. Good yep. luck for the rest of the year. Thank you.